guys today in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make your computer really fast by debloating your windows 10 computer so basically debloating means to debloat all of your uh bloatware apps from your windows 10 and it's really easy to do with some simple script that you guys are been using today so everything the tool that you guys will need it will be under my link under my description down below so make sure to download from the description down below and you will uh, find these tools okay um which i have packed here with awesome tools like ec menu windows 10 debloater and wb and also the jet clean instead of cc cleaner so if you guys love the cc cleaner you can use that as well but i prefer only the jet clean because it's open source and it is free to download and free to use so the first thing is that i want you guys to uh join to this group which is called the ox buddy if you guys don't know this group what the heck is this group about it's all about the technology forum it's the best forum that i have found and i'm also joining this group and you can also see that it's been partnered with microsoft windows which is freaking awesome so you can uh, join this group and you can play around or you can also your windows 10 problem you can solve the other people's problem as well just you know sharing is caring just like that so you just go ahead and join the x buddy and the next thing is that if you guys don't trust me and you want to download the windows 10 script file or uh, windows 10 debloater script file from here then you can download from here and the same thing that i have downloaded from here and just you know to make you guys easy so i paste over on my tool folder so i recommend you guys to download from here because he will give you some updated file all right so the link will be under my description of this github guy as well and great shout out to this guy sync x so he makes my work so easier yeah guys so the very first thing is that you want to download this old tool and go on windows 10 deep load master all right so from here you want to run the powershell and uh, you should run the powershell as admin all right you can do that by easily using uh clicking over here on file and click on this power windows open the windows powershell and make sure to open the windows powershell as administrator and from here you need to click on yes it should ask you for user admin control and you guys will be connected on powershell just like this and you will be under the same folder now you guys don't need to navigate and do some hardcore stuff coding so from here you want to see the file list which is ls command so type ls and press and enter and you will see all of these files into this folder it's the same thing it's nothing at all and we are going to be using gui old okay you guys want to type capital w and you want to press until it pop as windows 10 debloader gui old so tap and tap once again and you will see that we have choose the windows 10 debloader geo old id we have just choose the windows 10 debloader geo old and you can now press enter and it will open up the windows just like this now from here you can do is everything you can do everything you want but i don't recommend you guys to use this option okay instead of uh, install.net in yours it should be disable okay don't disable this because you're gonna need this on some program because your windows 10 computer it will do some kind of dotnet program so yeah don't mess it you know don't mess with this option and do not disable dotnet you can also reboot the changes if you want if you guys don't want to deep load or do something else like that okay later but not now but right now we are going to be deep loading the windows 10 so now what you guys want to do is remove all of the bloatware. Click over here and you will see the stopping service and removing the bloatware apps. Now let it be on to the background. You need to stay here as a patient. Yeah, you can even see the not responding over here. So don't need to worry about that. It should do everything automatic. All right. So you can see that they finished all the tags like it just unpin all the tile from the start menu you can see there is no any start menu right now and it also remove all of the bloatware apps that you don't even need it all right so the next thing here is optional changes or fixes so you can stop using the edge as a pdf reader so you can disable the cortana even so disable the cortana cortana has been disabled you can see that and you can even stop the edge so you can even see that i have already used that i can better use the adobe 
uh, PDF reader instead of using the edge so I have done that so you can uninstall OneDrive and there we go it's just an uninstalling the OneDrive now you won't be able to pop as to install that OneDrive and there you go so the OneDrive has been successfully uninstalled here now the next thing is that you want to also disable the Telemain tree talks, which will add some kind of crazy memory. So you can disable this. Now you can see that the Telemain tree has been disabled. Now all you guys need to do is remove the bloatware registry key. And from here it will remove all of the registry keys. So you need to wait for a moment. So have some patience. So the final thing here is now you can remove the dark mode or disable the dark mode so it's very okay to do that if you guys love the dark mode then i don't recommend you do that okay so i'm just disabling the dark mode you can see that in front of you on the screen now everything you guys have done set that up and then your windows 10 is deep loaded right now and you can check your tax manager it should bring you some few changes right now so you can see on my performance, there is have a, a it did have you know it's some five gigabyte of memory on my when I done the blow the Windows 10. Now you can see it's just having a really less memory, like 3.6 gigabyte. And I'm opening uh, the Brave browser here and the Streamlabs OBS and nothing here on the Tux Manager and the PowerShell itself. Now all you guys have done here set this up. Now you guys have done everything um, correct way here. You have deployed your Windows 10 uh, computer. Now you can close this out. You can close the PowerShell. Now once again, open up the tool, and from here you want to install EC Menu. So to install the uh, EC Menu, it's really easy. So once you guys have installed the EC Menu, you will get something that look like here. Okay, if you guys right click here. You will see these tools, you will see the system tools and turn off option. You can do everything with right click. It's just way awesome. And it's just really, really powerful tool. It will help you to uh, unlock the protected file even. I don't mean by the password protected, but like the system files, okay? Like you can delete all of the uh, system encrypted file. So with this tool, uh, so to install this tool you can just right click and run as administrative and click on yes and you can choose everything here if you want uh, if you want to use this all thing then choose everything whatever you guys need it okay I will choose everything here and click on apply and it will sound like some you know shit and then you can close this out now once you guys have done that, you can right click and you should see this all of the menu here. Now from here, what you guys want to do is you can, you know, you can see here the restart Windows Explorer and reduce memory and the delete temporary file. So we don't need these two things, but we will be using these two things on the jet clean or jet boost or quick boost, whatever that you guys want to say, say it. But we won't be using these two. We will only use the reduce memory. Okay. So you can see the memory right now the memory is 3.5 uh, gigabytes so if you want to reduce that memory system oh sorry it's a tool and go to reduce memory and click on yes it should instantly work you can see that how crazy it is going right now you can see that holy shit So you can see that it just worked perfectly fine. It just swap out one gigabyte memory free for myself with this tool. All right, so you can use EC Mini for many purposes. Like you know, you can do many many experiment. So yeah, play with this tool is so awesome. And the next thing here is the WUB. So with this tool, it's going to uh, block the Windows update, like unnecessary update, automatic update some shit like that so before you uh, even open or even use this tool I recommend you guys to check your setting and go to the update and security and make sure to you fully update this windows okay and right now you can see that
and right now you can see that I can't even update the windows because I have already disabled it so you can open this up but make sure that you have updated fully all right so and make sure that you have set the status to disable service if you enable the service it will show you the update okay so disable the service and protect the setting uh, service setting and apply click and apply now now once you have done this it should never update in the background and you should never face like 100% CPU Dex and Dex 100% and you know the high memory and the high CPU usages which really sucks right so it's going to save you from that pro uh, that problem so make sure to use the WUB which is freaking awesome tool and uh, whenever you guys are streaming or playing the game you will never face any kind of lag after using this because it's going to block everything that Windows wants you to update automatically the automatic update is just peace out and no one even like it right so you can just use the WB and disable it so the next thing is here is the clean or uh, the jet clean setup so if you guys don't like the jet clean then you can try the alternative like uh, a power stuff or you can also use the CC cleaner and I don't recommend that because you know it just run in the background and do some stupid stuff so I prefer you guys to use the jet clean it's just you know awesome and you can even generate this for the poor table and it's free to download even you can just type on Google and you know Google it and you can just Google it the jet clean and you will get this set of files same thing like there now from here you can use the jet clean option click on yes and from here you want to scan and repair okay click here you can also customize the scan and repair option here so now you can see that it's been already fixed and I have uh, fixed some so many things here so this tool is to boost my productivity and I don't need to manually uh, do some shit thing like going to run and type some tame 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 what the heck I'm talking about I don't know what you don't need to do any anything manually okay it will be so automatic and next thing here is the tool and from here you can also optimize your startup optimization which even you won't see on your tax manager okay if you open the tax manager here and go to startup you can see I have only two here but the jet clean what it does is it's so even better so you can see here you can disable or enable whatever you like or you don't like it so I'll disable the internet download manager here and I don't have anything to uh, disable it because I, I need it all okay so you can uh, disable everything here like discord jet boost auto update and Spotify Windows Defender when the security brave software update or you guys are using the any kind of um, Google Chrome or something or the browser you can just disable from here easy peasy and the registry defrag and you can also use the registry defrag you can analyze it you can use internet booster if you want you you might get some good ping on your gaming so use that and the performance booster and lastly the port hit uh, port table so this will just generate the portable version of the jet clean now so with this portable version you can carry on to your thumb drive or USB drive wherever you want okay so close this out and the next thing here is to uh, have some boost click on jet boost or quick boost it just do the same job and click on boost so now you can see that I have already boosted and um, you can restore uh, restore this as well if you would if you guys don't want to boost your computer and it's just basically like a tune up utility that you guys have used in all days so yeah guys so that's all for today and i hope this video was useful after doing this some kind of magical tweaks your pc might get some speed or boost okay so i hope you guys love this video so make sure to join to the axbody group which is the facebook group so you can join this group and you know gain some knowledge you can share your knowledge you can help people 
you can do everything you want so yeah guys thank you very much for watching this video and if you guys are new to this channel then make sure to subscribe feel free to subscribe to the channel and make sure to like this video if this video was really worth watching for you and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye